Hello, Mr. Niren here. So we are back in Warcraft Total War, and this is a unreleased version of Warcraft Total War. So I'm go gonna do a uh, AI-only campaign after watching Melker playing an AI-only vanilla medieval 2 campaign. I wanted to do some AI campaigns as uh, in, in different mods for medieval 2. I started with Warcraft Total War. This is the Reign of Chaos campaign. <coughs> the early campaign. I have re-enabled the Naga. They start with the Murloc, um, <coughs> Murloc camp. They have a Murloc Lord Krellian as leader. And they have some Murlocs. Uh, so the Naga are not supposed to be playable in this campaign. But the rebels, they have so many areas on the map. As you can see in Kalimdon, they have a lot of areas. And then they have quite a few areas in Northrend. Then they have some areas in Eastern Kingdoms, and then they have some Ayers. And uh, because of this, if I play this the Rebels, uh, the AI factions would attack everywhere, and there will, would be a very slow development on the map. Because uh, when they attack the faction that the player is playing as, uh, we would have to click uh, Auto Resolve or something, which would take more time to do, or uh, we could uh, place the slave faction under AI control, but we would still have to watch every time an enemy army attacks a city of the faction we played last, so if I place the slave faction under AI control, the camera would still zoom in on their settlements when they are under siege. By re-enabling the Naga faction and giving them an IR that will never be attacked, I've seen uh, most IRs in the game be, be attacked. For example, the goblins or the frack trolls usually attack Tel Abim. Uh, the goblins actually did attack Suldasar in, in a campaign, so it's possible. These two IRs are never attacked the Bloodsail Hold and uh, the Murloc Camp. And the uh, same is true for this area tomb of Sergeras. So I gave uh, the Naga this area just so they have an area because if they do not have any areas then they are dead automatically when we start the campaign. So they need an area and they need an army with a leader. Now that they have a leader and a settlement they count as a faction and because this area will never be attacked uh, we do not have to worry about the Naga being destroyed during the campaign. And uh, of course, uh, <coughs> the other factions are gonna attack each other. We will then take a look at the map each turn and see what, uh, what has happened. <coughs> okay, so uh, no one will attack the Marlock camp, so this faction is just here so that uh, we as the player can uh, keep an eye on the other factions without uh, having our faction be being destroyed. We do not want to play the rebels because they would be attacked too much. Okay, so um, the campaign at the start of the campaign, if we check the IRs, we see that the capital of the trade coalition or the goblins is, uh, is um, undermined on this IR. And then in Kalimdor, the goblins have more areas. They have uh, Gadgetzan, they have uh, Madsproget. They have Ratchet and they have Everlook. Other factions in Kalimdor see that there are a lot of empty rebel areas with minor faction units. And we have Ankirai over here. They only have one area in this campaign at the start. We have to conquer the other Kiraji rebel areas before they can attack other factions. We have the Faraki Trolls. They also only have one area. Sulfarak, their capital. And then further north we have the Burning Legion, the General Askelor, we start with Thunderax and uh, Raudon and uh, Shadowprey here. And then we have Terramore, we start with their capital. We we'll have to conquer other areas, they have an army outside of Northwatch held by rebels, Terramore rebels, and then we have an army next to Mads Procket too, but they are neutral with the goblins. 
they will probably not fight. We have the Horde, uh, because this is the Reign of Chaos campaign. The Horde hasn't really built their cities yet, and in this game, of course, you can't build cities on the map, so they have to have this, the settlements from the start, but uh, in this new version of the game, the Horde starts uh, outside of their cities, so you have to move them into the cities that will kind of... Um, it will... Uh, it's like they have just landed in Kalimdor and uh, are building their cities and then, then they will expand and because we can't build cities on the map uh, they start outside instead so them moving into the cities is pretty much uh, them building the cities or that's the idea that it will kind of It's, uh, it's supposed to, to to be an alternative to building the cities. Okay, we have the night elves. They have the city Nendis here. They have their capital. Odrasil, the tree. A general. Scenarius. We have a demon general here. Legion commander Manorot. Night Elves have a big presence here. Uh, the Naga are not present on the map except the area we added uh, specifically for this campaign. Uh, the Scarlet Crusade are not on the map either. In Northrend we do not have any Naga. And we do not have the Scarlet Crusade but we have the Trade Coalition in Venture Bay. We have the Rekul. The Drakari Trolls, the Giant Ice Trolls. We have uh, the Scourge, and we have the Kingdom of Azul Narub, the Spider Kingdom. Uh, the Blood Elves are not a part of this campaign either, the Sindori. In the Eastern Kingdoms, we have the Goblins in Booty Bay. Then we have the, the Jungle Trolls, the Gurubash Trolls, uh, starting in Sul uh, Sulgurub, their capital. A lot of rebel areas. Conquer, we have the Kingdom of Stormwind, we have a bunch of areas, they do not hold Moonbrook at the start, it's held by Rabbit Bandits, Rebel Bandits, and we have the Burning Legion, starting in the Dark Portal, we have some generals, Melganis, and uh, Verimatras, and uh, then we have some Rebel areas, separating them from Stormwind. Then we have the Dark Horde, holding Alter's Mill here. And they have some areas inside of this territory as well, together with the I believe Dark Iron Dwarves. This territory is separated between the Dark Iron Dwarves and the Dark Horde. We have the Kasmodan Dwarves here, the capital Iron Forge. And further north we have the Kingdom of Lordaeron holding Manateal Harbor. We have some rebel territory. We have the Dark Horde in Grim Battle. And uh, we have some rebel. Um, I believe Sess Mother's Orcs. They might be Dark Iron Dwarves, I'm not sure. Okay, we have some Amani Trolls at the Kingdom of Stormwind. No, Stromgard actually. The um, actual Kingdom of Lordaeron, Gilness, Altrak, and Dalaran, they are rebels on the map. Lordaeron, of course, is Artus Menethil, or Prince Artus, and uh, some other paladins using the same model but a different skin. We have the Scourge. Okay, and uh, then we have the Kingdom of Quell to last, High Elves up here, Theresa Windrunner, and uh, Prince Quell Tusk. Right, <coughs> and uh, let's click and turn. I believe the turns will be very fast now when we are controlling a faction that won't ever move won't ever be attacked. So the turn should be much faster than otherwise. If you play this the rebels it, it would take 
way longer. Uh, so, candidate for adoption. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, I need to have fast forward. I didn't have it on. Okay, that's why it took a little bit longer than I thought. Okay, end of turn report. The Alliance of Lordaeron, which is the Kingdom of Lordaeron with a new name. Uh, they are the overall strongest faction. They have the largest population and they have the best production in the world. And they also have the strongest military at the start of the Reign of Chaos campaign. Uh, and uh, the Scourge has the best financial situation. Okay. <coughs> So we can see that Scourge is already laying siege to Heart Glen, area of the uh, Alliance of Lordaeron. Dwarfs, uh, the, the dwarves in uh, <coughs> Harry Peak are uh, <coughs> preparing to fight the Amani Trolls at Sadra Aber, Sadra Alor, and. Uh, Alor. Scourge is also laying siege to Tyr's hand, the capital of the. Uh, no, this is the Reign of Chaos campaign. I was about to say the capital of the Scarlet Crusade, but they are not a part of this campaign. So the <coughs> Kingdom of Lordaeron is holding Tyr's hand and Stratholm, and the Scourge is attacking Heart Glen, Tyr's hand, and, and Stratholm. We have the Money Trolls. Seems Prince Kaltas is already laying siege to the settlement of Torvata, held by the Amani Trolls. It's a troll settlement. Alright. <coughs> and further down south, you can see that the dwarves are moving. They will attack the rebels. Kingdom of Stor Stormwind has already entered the borderlands of the Gurubash jungles and they are laying siege to the Mulgosh Ogre Mound, held by rebel ogres and gnolls. The Gurubash trolls are laying siege to Mosh Og Ogre Mound. Mosh Og Ogre Mound. Uh, this is another ogre area held by rebel ogres and gnolls. See that the trade coalition haven't done much in Boutic Bay. They are on the borderlands with the Faraki trolls. Kalimdor. They're moving around their ships and fleets. The trade coalition or the goblins, they have the largest fleet in the world at the start of the game. Just like in lore, they are the strongest naval power. You can see in Terramor we have two custom heroes here. We have Archmage Jaina and uh, we have Advisor Tervosh. Okay. Goblins have also moved from Ratchet up towards Northwatch, but it's already under siege by Terramor. Horde have uh, settled in Orgrimmar and built up their capital, are moving towards the other areas in their homeland, haven't attacked anywhere, they are moving a huge army under Warship Troll himself, moving this army up towards Ratchet, so both the Alliance and the Horde factions are neutral to the Goblins or the Trade Collision. So they will probably attack Terramore. Uh, the fact that they are not, uh, they are allied to the Trade Coalition, both the Lions and the Horde. So the enemies of the Trade Coalition are the Rebels and the Thraki Trolls. Uh, the Ankarai faction over here and the Gurbashi Trolls in Eastern Kingdoms. Uh, so the Goblins, they are allied with the Horde but also allied with the Terramore and some others. And uh, the horde, I believe, is neutral to the, to the Terramor factions. They will probably attack them. <coughs> we have the Night Elves, the Shadow 
of zone outside of Everlook and I believe the goblins are also neutral to the or allied to the night elves. If they are allied that means they are less likely to attack each other so they are allied. All the factions that should be neutral to the goblins are allied with the goblins instead. You can see the night elven general, the cold general. Okay, and the Legion commander Manorot is moving back from Night Elven territory towards Thunderaxe. There are two, I believe, uh, Pit Lord generals in the game Manorot and As uh, Galor. And with the Hinir Fell Soldier general there. Okay, and in Northrend, there are a lot of rebels here, not much has happened in Northrend in this campaign. Uh, we will most likely see the Kingdom of Ashil Narub, the Spider Kingdom conquer a bunch of uh, rebel areas. And the Scourge will also conquer some rebel territory over here. And then I believe the battle will be between the Ice Trolls, the Drakari and the Brickel and the Kingdom of Ashil Narub and the Scourge. And then I believe the Trade Coalition will probably be defeated by the Brutal or the Ice Trolls. We'll see. They might conquer uh, one or two rebel areas before that. Okay, let's click enter. End of turn report. Same as before, Kingdom of Lordaeron is uh, <coughs> dominating almost all the areas ex except the financial area where the Scourge is superior. Because the Scourge needed a really good economy, otherwise they would get bankrupt uh, very quickly because they have a huge number of armies. So the Scourge is... Uh, Scourge is taken hot clan, but now the Kingdom of Lordaeron is counter-attacking. We have uh, Captain Remy and uh, Captain Raltus here. Then we have Prince Artus himself too, moving up. And the Paladin General, Talon Fordering. So the war between the Scourge and the Alliance of Lordaeron has started. Verisa Windrunner, the faction leader of uh, the Kingdom of Weltalas, King Anasteria and Sunstrider. He has his own unique model too. Batland on the map. Okay, the elves aren't really involved yet. They have uh, failed to take this area, or they succeeded in taking it because it belonged to the trolls. The money trolls in the beginning of the campaign. Now it belongs to the rebels, to the minor faction, the money rebels. So I believe the Kingdom of Feltalas took the area and then it revolted to the money trolls. But to the rebels, not to the actual trolls. I might be wrong, might have wrote that from the trolls, I don't know. In Northrend, Drakari trolls are moving down towards Vodrasil. Second guy in three in the game, there are two. One is the capital of the Night Elves, and the other is uh, a tree where we have some dire furbolgs, rebel units. So the Kingdom of Ashil Narub is moving down towards Ice Mist Village. With an army. They also have an army on the borderland with the Scourge. The Scourge is moving towards uh, Valkyrion, an area held by Rebel Vericle. She is a um, giant of Northrend, like uh, Viking giants of Northrend. There is a Rickle faction, but uh, these guys are rebels. Ok, 
Okay, and in Kalimdor, so the Night Elves also have two areas here, Darnassus, the future capital of the Night Elves, and then uh, they have uh, Shadow Glen, the starting area in World of Warcraft. But there is one area held by rebels, uh, rebel furbolgs, that they need to take. And there are some rebel territory here too. Uh, so the night elves seem to be going for the rebel areas uh, in their area. Some cool dryad merchants. A goblin army. Just marched out of Everlook. Horde has settled their other two areas, Razor Hill and Senyin. Troll area. They are now laying siege to, to the crossroads held, held by Kentaurs. Okay. Uh, and we have the general Cairn of Bloodhoof tribe, which is a tyrant general of the Horde, Blood of Thunderhooves as his bodyguard, laying siege to cro the crossroads with an army. We have another general under Warship Troll outside of Northwatch. And the Terramor faction has failed to take the area. One of their armies under Malak the Avenger has been forced back to outside of Ratchet and the other general or captain, Captain Adam, has been moved back to the territory of Terramor proper. We have a captain here, Captain Joseph in an army and the general um, named Granis Darkhammer. They are still outside of Mats Procket. By the trade coalition. Frack trolls have uh, set up a fort on the borderland with Gadgetzand. Gadgetzand. And the trade coalition are moving around their fleets. Uh, by the way, the Gurubash trolls have taken Mosh Og Ogre Mound. They are now moving deeper into the jungle. Kingdom of Stormwind is still besieging the other Ogre Mound has failed to take it. But they have conquered Sulkunda and a uh, Gurubashi troll area held by rebel Gurubashi trolls at the start of the campaign. So it's been taken by the Kingdom of Stormwind. The Burning Legion under Melganis is now besieging Nethergard Keep held by the Kingdom of Dalaran. The mages. Another ogre mound here, um, Dust Belch Grotto, and another one here uh, named Mugrosh. And the uh, dwarves, I believe, are going for those areas. King of Strumgard, laying siege to Mother, held by the murderous orcs. I believe uh, they are dark iron dwarves, I'm not sure. They are also besieging Vitterbark, held by the Ammonic Trolls. Alright. So the Ankirai faction, they are, sti are still marching out. They are laying siege to High Regal, held by Karaji rebels. General Twin Emperor Veklor, one of the leaders, they have two leaders. He's laying siege to that area. Karaji area. Burning Legion. They are moving back. Legion Commander Manorot to their territory. I haven't really attacked anyone yet. Okay, let's end the turn. <coughs> Taken the crossroads from the rebel Kentaurs, the Horde. And now the Horde is uh, besieging Northwatch, held by Terramore rebels. 
control himself laying siege and then we have uh, uh, Gromash of Warsong clan Gromash Hellscream uh, short for Grom Hellscream I believe it. Grom Hellscream is his uh, Grom is his nickname so uh, he is also outside of Northward Terramore is not doing much seems the Horde will take Northward which isn't good for Terramore he risk being surrounded by the Horde Night Elves haven't done much. Kolkar camp has been taken by the, by the Burning Legion. So they've taken an area from Rebel Kentaurs. And they are also laying siege to uh, Stone Talon Peak, held by um, Taurans actually. Night Elven area abandoned, an abandoned Night Elven area held by Taurans and Krai has taken Hive Regal from the Karaji rebels and are now besieging Hive Sora another Karaji rebel area have the Frack Trolls they are still at the border with uh, the trade coalition in Gadget San and uh, the Goblins they are uh, Marching past Northwatch, but they're not doing much. They moved an army into the area of Splinter Tree, held by rampaging orcs or uh, rebel orcs. Alright, and in Northrend, the King of Asul Narub hasn't done much. The Scourge hasn't done much either, they moved some armies Gothic the Harvester is marching Necromancer General we have the Dracari Trolls Link Siege of Ordazil uh, Held by the Dire Furbolgs Bigger Furbolgs than the Ordinary Furbolgs of Kalimdor The Recal marching too Marching north or northeast uh, then we have, um, they haven't really conquered any area as of yet. Oh, they have an army all the way over here. They've passed the Scarlet Fleet's hold up. Held by rebel, Lord and rebels here. They're marching towards Virm Rest, uh, which is held by Virm Rest Dragonflight's alliance. Held by the Virm Rest Dragonflight Alliance, the, an alliance of dragons, dragon flights as they known in Warcraft. Uh, it's a very strong garrison, but this area is also the highest possible set, uh, uh, citadel level. So it's a very good settlement if you manage to take it. So they go for that one, and then in the Eastern Kingdoms. Lordaeron is still in siege to Hartglen, held by the Scourge. A bunch of Lordaeron armies there. Prince Artus is marching towards Stratholm. Scourge is being forced back. Lordaeron is very strong in this uh, area. They have also broken the siege of Tyrsand and the siege of Stratholm. Uh, so Scourge only managed to take. Uh, Glen. So this is a problem with this campaign that Lordaeron is a bit too strong and that Scourge is too weak in, in uh, these kingdoms. Uh, they need to become stronger because they're supposed to defeat Lordaeron but uh, in all uh, the campaigns pretty much they fail to defeat Lordaeron. Okay and the uh, king of Quiltalas is back besieging Torvata. I've held by rebel Amani Trolls. It's their leader. King Anasterian Sunstrider, who is laying siege. Reese is still outside of their capital of Silver Moon. The Kasmer and Dwarves are now laying si uh, siege to Mogrosh, held by the Ogre rebels. While a dark Iron Dwarf army is moving towards Dust Belch. Dust, Dust Belch, Grotto, held by Ogres. The 
Nobles. Burning Legion is taken Nethergard Keep. And uh, Nerbash Trolls uh, have taken, as we saw, the Ogre area, but now they have taken Sulmanve, a Gurbashi rebel area from rebel Gurbashi Trolls. And are about to march towards Aberas, another Gurbashi rebel area. Uh, while the Kingdom of Stormwind have failed to take Mulgosh Ogre Mound. Taken as we saw one of the Gurbashi areas. Okay, Let's end the town. End of turn report, same as before. The Eastern Kingdoms, you can see that the Gurbashi trolls have now conquered Aberas as well from the rebel Gurbashi trolls. Stormwind is sending in more troops into the Gurbashi jungle. You can see that uh, the Dreadlord Varimatras of the Burning Legion is marching towards this area here. Conquer more areas for the Legion. Kingdom of Stormwind is about to lay siege to Moonbrook, held by bandits, rebel bandits. The Dark Iron Dwarves now laying siege to Dust Belch Grotto, held by the rebel ogres. Kasmodan has conquered Mugrosh from rebel ogres, and uh, the Kingdom of Strumgard is still laying siege to this area, held by Dark Iron rebels. Here the General Niles of Strumgard laying siege to the bodyguard of Red Legion Equestrian. Which is also ranked as Legion 3 Stromguard. It failed to conquer Witterbark from the Money Trolls. Captain, uh, I mean a Paladin here, Gavinrad of the Dyer. Gavinrad the Dyer. Okay. Yeah, I need to finish more strat models for the humans, the trolls, the dwarves, the goblins. The insects. Okay. Baron Riven there. This night. Yeah. Scourge is still holding Heartland. The, the Kingdom of Florida and Fate to the Conqueror. The Kingdom of Florida has uh, done well elsewhere. Elan Fordring is still alive. Scourge General here too, not the Playbringer. Another Death Knight, I believe. I don't know where Artis is, maybe he is in one of these areas. Yeah, he is in this fort, Prince Artis. Kingdom of Quiltalas is conquered Torvata from the rebel Amani Trolls. And, uh, yeah, that's the situation in the Eastern Kingdoms currently. The Rico are about to lay siege to Virm Rest. And the Ice Trolls have failed to take Warda Sail. The King of Fasil and Arub is still about to lay siege to Ice Mist Village there. So the Gothic, the Harvester, a Necromancer of the Scourge, is laying siege to um, Faneral. Former Night Elven territory, now held by rebellious necromancers, mostly banshees and skeletons inside, undead night elves. They're also about to go to siege Valkyrian. Okay. Okay, in Kalimdor. We use Shadow Song. <coughs> it's moving closer to. Timbermo hold he held by Furbolgs rebels, Furbolg rebels. And uh, they are laying siege to Eldaret, the capital of the Naga in the Frozen Throne campaign, here held by bandits. The 
trade coalition is laying siege and splinter trade. And by the rebel orcs. Ward is moving an army under all the hint of Dark Spear tribe. Troll general. Towards Sunrock over here. But they are also moving armies further into. I don't remember the name, but what are the dirt are probably okay. So they are still in siege to Northwatch. Terra Mora is done a poor job in this campaign, yeah, and uh, Trade Coalition. The Farak Trolls are still staring at each other. The Farak Trolls are moving some troops into this area. Conquer Un Angoro. Rebel Raptors, I believe. Dinosaurs, wild dinosaurs. We have another, another arm here about to attack Grisha Hive, held by uh, Kiraji rebels. And the Kiraji are now about to lay siege to Southwind, another Kiraji rebel area. They're still sieging Hive Sora. <coughs> Legion, they haven't done much. They conquered the um, Stone Talon Peak from the Taurans. Okay. Send the town. <coughs> Still, it is seized the Dark Iron Dwarves and the Kingdom of Stormwind, so they have made a truce. Humans of Stormwind and the Dark Iron Dwarves. Okay. Stormwind is moving in with an arm here, pretty large force, moving towards Missile by Ogres. And uh, Burning Legion is here this area, going for Stoneard, held by Rampaging Orcs, or Fell Orcs, which is Rebel Orcs. <coughs> there are Fell Orcs in the Burning Legion too. Stormwind is laying siege to Karasan, held by <coughs> Medivh, the only unique general of the Rebel faction. They're still sieging Moonbrook, and Strumgard has taken that mother finally. And the King of Lordaeron is moving towards Gilneas now, held by rebels. They are besieging Altrak, also held by rebels. Hot Glen still held by the Scourge, same with Sayer Darrow. <coughs> there is a wind runner of the Kingdom of Quel'Thalas moving up into the areas of the Amani Trolls and their capital Sulaman. Trolls are about to fight the Elves and the Kingdom of Lordaeron. Seems the Kingdom of Lordaeron has taken Sulmashar from the Trolls. They are being attacked from two sides. The Scourge has almost been defeated. We still have a strong presence in Hardcore. Okay, the Rico. If they have large forces on the borderlands of the Ice Trolls, the Rakari. The Kingdom of Asil and Rube still hasn't attacked anyone. Kalimdor. The Shadow Song is seeding Timber Mau Hold now. And they've taken Ruins of Amtaran from Rebels. Okay. Horde. They're about to attack Tarayo. 
killed by Taurans, Rebel Tauran. Their Norse Surfang is about to attack this area. Another general, Ulyin of Darkspear tribe, is about to attack Sun Rock. Seems the Horde failed to conquer Northwatch, and now the Terrible faction is back at besieging the area. The general, Malak the Avenger. Goblins have strengthened their position in Mad's Prokhet, moved up some troops there from Ratchet, and uh, they are not doing much in Gadget Zan. The Frack Trolls have conquered on Goro from the rebel dinosaurs, the raptors, and they've conquered Gorisha High from the rebel Karajit. Karadji has finally conquered Hive Sora from the Karadji rebels, but they have failed to take Sadwind. Uh, Sad okay, let's end the turn. Changes will comment, we will speed up things by not commenting everything. We can see no differences here, nothing has happened. We can see that the rebel army of night elf rebels are moving out of scenario and hold. It's an army the Karaji will have to face. Burning Legion hasn't expanded anything more. Are laying siege. On, they are about to lay siege to uh, uh, Taldarag uh, Grow. Taldarag Grow, uh, held by uh, <coughs> Night Elf rebels, and the horde is now laying siege to Taurayo. Terramor is taken northwards. Finally, they managed to take the area. Again, lower. Very good. The board has uh, now started to see that area as we saw. Okay. Night Elves failed to take Timber Mahold and the Trade Collision failed to take Splinter Trade. Okay. Kingdom of Asylum and Ruby is not doing anything. Chandra has fallen to the Scourge. There is a standoff between the Scourge, the Rekel and the Ice Trolls. The Rekel have armies in Ice uh, Troll territory. They are not really fighting them currently. In Eastern Kingdoms. Still, um, uh, the city is still defended by the trolls. Recess moved over here. Okay. Hot glance fans again under attack by Lordaeron. Stormwind failed to take Missia, the 
ogres are pretty strong. Legion has taken Stoneheart from the Fell Oaks. Rebel Steer. Side of regal territory, but they are not doing much. Their current trolls have moved into rebel territory here. We have the frost regal rebels, and we have uh, the frost bond dwarf rebels. Okay. And nothing else has happened. In Kalim. Nothing has happened on the Iyers. Night Elves have failed to take a direct from the rebels. Horde is now laying siege to a splinter tree. We have a horde army here. Led by a captain. Okay, and uh, Legion Commander Manor is laying siege to Dara Grow, held by the Night Elf Rebels, will probably conquer it. Horde is laying siege to Northwatch, held by Terramor. Terramor has a huge army there, and they're reinforcing army outside. The Horde uh, have a smaller army under Grom Hellscream. Gromash, uh, I believe they will fail to take the area. Unless they send more troops. Okay. Legion hasn't done much to the south. And Kirai. They're about to lay siege to the south wind again. And the Farak trolls are controlling the Angoro jungle. Rebel army is moving close to the border. Night Elf rebels are supposed to defend against the Karachi, but they might attack the Iraqi trolls. Okay, and nothing has happened in Gadgetsen, in, in the territory of Gadgetsen. Let's continue. Okay, they managed to 
stop the horde from taking Nordwatch. Okay, and then in uh, <coughs> in the Eastern Kingdoms, not much has happened. Legion is moving down armies into the area of Stoneard. Stormwind failed to take Karsan from Medivh and his rebel troops. Seems uh, the Dark Horde and the Kingdom of Stormwind is fighting each other here. Next to Lakeshire and Alter's Mill. Right. Lordran is still laying siege to Hot Glen. Another Kingdom of Kveltalas has moved down troops there too. They are allied with the Kingdom of Lordran. They are getting help from from an ally. Elves, they have huge forces too. Seems the trolls and the scourge are losing. They are very depleted, the trolls, outside of Suleiman. We have a recent in runner. Sister of Sylvanas Windrunner. Okay, she's the future leader of the Forsaken and the Horde, but uh, currently is one of the generals in Quelt Last Faction in Northrend. Uh, not much is happening. Ah, the king of Fasil and Rubis finally laying siege to Ice Mist Village, held by rebel Tonka. The Tonka, they are like Taurans, but a different creature, similar to Taurans. The Fasil and Rubis faction is also moving east. They might want to conquer areas over here. Okay, let's end the turn. Still it is seized, the Grabash trolls and the Kingdom of Stormwinds, they have made a truce. Alright. So the Grabash managed to take three areas and Stormwind took one. They failed to take Moonrock from the bandits too. Battles continue outside of Hartland. It looks like the Scourge is losing against the combined might of the King of Lordaeron and uh, or the Alliance of Lordaeron and the uh, King of Hartland. Okay. And outside of Suleiman, the trolls are defending, but they are at a disadvantage, as we can see. I believe the Amani trolls and the uh, Scourge will lose at least the Okay, ice trolls that are carried there, links it toward the seal again. A huge army. The king of Asil and Rube is moving towards the rebels. Raven and rebels here. Alright. The Kalim door. Co-leader Malfurion Stormrage marching here towards uh, Arkran, held by Murloc rebels. So their leader, one of their leaders. I believe the other one is Tyrande herself. Horde has been moved 
back into their allied territory of the goblins, they failed to take Splinter Tree from their rebel orcs. Night elves have moved into the area of Taldara Grow, held by the Burning Legion. Ford is laying siege to Sandrock, held by Rampaging Orcs. Jaina is moving closer to Northwatch. And uh, Advisor Travos is moving behind her. They do not have the largest uh, numbers. The army is not that big. Not much is happening outside of Gadgetzan. And the Ankurai faction still hasn't conquered Sad. Still not liberated from the scourge. Now the king of Feltalas is laying siege to the capital of the money through walls. Salaman. Astros failed to take Voldrasil. Voldrasil, actually. <coughs> Scourge has moved down into the Virumrest area. We might face off with the Reek. Okay, we have the Kingdom of Astral and Rube. They failed to take Icemates Village. This is a more difficult area to take you to the guy in Tanka holding it. Kalimdor, Night Elves are back at uh, besieging uh, Timbermoor Hold. They are now besieging uh, Taldaragro, held by the Burning Legion. Hord failed to take Sandrock. Seems Troll is back and wants to try. Another attempt to take in Northwood from Terramor. Terramor is attacking a rebel area. Brackenwall, held by Ogre rebels. And by the way, if the Scourge, eh, I believe if the Horde take this area, they can get Ogres from that area, just like in the Horde of Tree game. Okay. Kiradje faction is laying siege to Scenarian Hold, held by Night Elf Rebels, but they moved out most of their army, they only have one unit there. So the Kiradje will probably take the area unless this army can reinforce in time. Send the time. <coughs> Hold. Sartura is over here. One of the generals. 
doesn't have much of an army. Okay, is that the Night Elf Rebel uh, army? <coughs> Terramor failed to take Bracken Wall as retreated into Allied territory, the Trade Coalition territory. The goblins are allies of both the Horde and the Terramor. The troll is back at besieging Northward, and they might take it this time. And it has failed to take Taldara Grove. As you'll in the Rubis back at seeing Ice Mist Village. <coughs> okay, so. Uh, trolls are moving towards the Frost uh, Born Dwarves there. Moving further into that territory. The Vericula moved out of the area of the Scarlet Fleet's holdout and are back in the carrier territory. Scourge is also moving out of the area of Virum Rest. Okay, and in Eastern Kingdoms, the Kingdom of Stromgard has landed with a fleet outside of Gilneas and are now besieging Gilneas. Lordon failed to take Gilneas, and now it looks like the Kingdom of Stromgard will take it instead. Scourge is still holding Heart Glen. It's surrounded by elven and human troops. It will fall soon, I believe. Elves are still in siege to Suleiman. And the Kingdom of Stromgard is laying siege to Witterbark. Another Amani area next to them. And uh, Dark Horde is holding fast against and uh, holding steady against the Kingdom of Stormwind. Burn Legion has taken Marshtide Watch from the Gerbashi Troll Rebels. They are now controlling this entire area. And uh, uh, that's it for now. Let's end the turn. Mystia is under siege by the Kingdom of Stormwind, it seems to. The area held by the Ogres. The jungle there. Okay, end of turn report. Nothing new. Okay, Gerbash and the trade coalition has ceased hostilities. They have a truce. Stormwind is back, marching towards Karasan. Also marching towards Moonbrook. They are fighting the Dark Horde here. They even move an, an army under Devin Fardale to the border here with the Dark Horde and the Dark Iron Dwarves. Stromgard failed to take Gilnas. Hardclan is still held by the Scourge, but they only have one small garrison now. Seems the attack on the capital of the Amani Trolls, Suleiman, failed. Still held by the Amani Trolls, and not taken by the Elves yet. The Northrend. <coughs> Rekel are back in the area of Virum Rest. Scourge are still at the border land. The Kingdom of Asil Nerub has taken Ice Mist Village from the rebel Tanka. Which is good. That means they will continue and march towards another area now. So we'll have some changes on the map. Some movements. Scourge is marching into the area of the Frost Hold. The Dracari Trolls are moving back towards their own borders. Okay, in East in Kalimdor, not much is happening. 
My elves failed to take Talara the Grove from the Burning Legion. There are still laying siege to some areas. Trade Coalition is laying siege to Splinter Tree again. Horde has taken northward from Terramore. Scourge is the strongest military in the world now, but they are really weak in Eastern Kingdoms, which means they are uh, probably very strong in Northland. Because they can't be the strongest military in the world. Not the strongest faction, Lordran is still the strongest faction. Goblins in Venture Bay haven't done anything, they are just protecting their city. Okay, diplomatic information. Following factions are now at war with each other. The Kingdom of Stormwind and the Dark Horde. They had a truce. Following factions have broken their alliances. The Kingdom of Stormwind and the Trade Coalition. Okay. Yeah. Because when when they attacked the Dark Horde, they had to make a choice between being allied to the Dark Horde or the Kingdom of Stormwind. That's what happens when when they make a truce and then. Uh, start a new war, then the trade coalition will have to choose a side, and they pick the the, the dark horde. All right. Stormwind is back, besieging Karasan. Besieging Gilneas. Elves are besieging Hartglen. We have a fort on the borderland of Salaman. We have a very severe runner. Nortra and the Vrykel are mostly just standing at the borders. Scourge is spreading out. Ice trolls are not doing much. Alright. Kalimdor. The Ankarai faction not doing much currently. Not much is happening in the south of Kalimdor. Watch is still held by the Horde. Trade Coalition failed to take Splinter Tree again. And uh, yeah, not much is happening. It's the end of the time. Okay, end of turn report. Same as before, still deceased, the Kingdom of Stromgard and the Amani Trolls. Let's just click forward a few times so we can have some real change on the map. It'll take forever otherwise. So we'll click and turn so we can see some changes on the map. Declared the Kingdom of Quiltalas and the Amani Trolls. Okay, they had a truce. It seems we had some some changes on the map this time, so we'll check the map now again. Uh, I could see that the Frack Trolls have expanded. But let's check Eastern Kingdom first. So in the Eastern Kingdoms, you can 
the sea that the uh, kingdom of Stormwind has taken Miss Ya and turned the area into a castle. So they've expanded a bit and uh, they've also taken Karasan from Medivh and his mages and they've taken Moonbrook. So the kingdom of Stormwind has taken at least three new areas. And they've built a, a fort at the borderlands here defeat the attacking Dark Horde armies. The Alter's Mill is still held by the Dark Horde. Okay. Gilnes is still held by the Gilnen Kingdom Gilnes rebels. The Storm Storm God faction failed to storm with his back is at besieging Altrak. Hartland has finally fallen, but not to the Kingdom of Lordran. It has fallen to the Kingdom of Quel'Thalas, actually. And we have Risa Windrunner over here. She has traveled uh, with, uh, on a ship to reach that area. The Kingdom of Quel'Thalas is falling in that area. We have Sayer Darrow, held by the Scourge. They have a huge army there. Unfortunately, the AI has a problem moving there. Nothing has happened in the borderlands uh, between the dwarves in Air Peak and the Mani Trolls in Sadra Alor. Uh, and the capital of the Mani are once again heavily defended by a huge army of Mani Trolls. Here no other changes. Check Northrend. That the scourge has finally reached the border of the Drakari trolls. Rotten the decaying. De Rot rotten the decaying. Or decaying, I don't know. Uh, is at the borderlands there with the trolls and the Rico. Uh, Ice troll and Rico armies looking at each other. No real war has started yet. And then we have the Scourge in these areas. They do not uh, hold an Kale yet. It's still held by the Kingdom of Ashil Nerub. The Scourge has somehow moved their army here. Antioch, the Necrolord, the entire army. Then we have the Ashil Nerub army here. So, so this Scourge army has somehow moved there. Without conquering any of the areas held by the Ashur faction. If we just move past them, I believe. Okay, in Kalimdor. Nothing has happened on the Ayers. Splinter Tree is under siege by the Night Elves. Eldarit has finally fallen to the Night Elves. Seems the Horde strengthened their hold on Northwatch with a huge army outside. They're a Nazgrel of Frostwolf clan. I believe he is a new general. This unreleased version of the Mad. They've also taken Sunrock. The Legion is about to enter the area of Thunderbluff. The tower and home area, this area. Okay, yeah. Jaina has been forced back to the area of Terramor. The current Farak trolls have moved into Valor's Rest and taken it. From Night Elf Rebels, the Ankirai faction is holding Hive Sora, but has failed as of yet to take Sadwin. They are busy to have an army outside of um, the Faraki held Valor Valor's Rest. So the Faraki and the Ankirai faction might start to fight with each other soon. Okay, let's end it.
Following factions have declared the truce, the Kingdom of Quelthalas and the Scourge, the Kingdom of Stormwind and the Burning Legion. Okay. Yeah, I believe the Frack Trolls will start to fight the Ankarai faction soon. Okay. And the Burning Legion has gone into the area of the Tauran rebels. Blood of Tyrants and uh, taken Thunder Bluff, future capital the of the Tauran. Okay, the Night Elves are besieging a port held by the Burning Legion. This area has been converted into a Burning Legion area from the Night Elven. We're on the same with this area. They have turned into Burning Legion territory. You can upgrade cities in this game until you reach the final level. Okay, um, Splinter Tree has fallen to the Night Elves. Alright. Yeah, you know, it's been forced back to the area of their ally, the, the Goblins. Trend. I think the Scourge and the Kingdom of Astralinary will fight each other soon here. And the uh, Scourge here might have already fight, uh, fought these guys. The Goblins have moved their army. They have a huge army here. They have another huge army in the city. They seem to have moved their fleet here and landed another army. Now they have two armies in this area. They might be able to expand. That's surprising that they landed an entire army. It's not uncommon that uh, a faction can use the ships and move agents to other continents and uh, even one or two or three or five units, but uh, landing an entire army is very uncommon. I've seen the goblins do it in this area, Tel Abim, and in this area, Suldasar. But to do it all the way over here is uncommon. Um, from where they came. They had a fleet in every territory, I believe, except Everlook. It's not the army of Ratchet. Not the army of Gadget Sand. It might be the army of their capital. No, it's not. Army of. Um, no, they, they started it one army in each area. This army... Might be the army of Ratchet actually, or Mudsprocket. Anyway, they have two armies in, in Northern now. Hortus is still alive. Outside of Lordaeron, all right. Let's end the turn. So I played for about an hour now. Turn 21. Still deceased, Night Elves and the Horde. They started at war, I believe, in this campaign. Horde has taken Sun Rock, yeah, we saw that previously. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Yeah, the Faraki and the Ankarai faction have started a war against each other. Okay. The Burn Legion is now laying siege to Bloodhoof as well. They might start a war against the Horde there soon. 
Okay, if you move to the other continents. Seems there were no battle there. Scourge army is still around, the same with the Ankara. Eh, uh, Assyrian Naruba army. Scourge is a big army outside of Firm Rest, too. Ah, the trade collision is now laying siege to Scarlet Fleet's holdout held by the Lord of Rebels. They will probably take it. So this will give the, the goblins two areas in order. Something they really need. Alright. <sighs> Bash and Stormwind are now at war. Yeah. They want some areas from Stormwind that Stormwind took from Gerbash Troll Rebels. Okay, let's just end turn again. So we can have some more changes on the map. So, uh, still deceased, King of Storm Stormguard and the Scourge. Okay. So, the Gerbashi trolls managed to take Sulkunda from the Kingdom of Stormwind. Stormwind still has Missia, a castle in the middle of the jungle. All the other areas are held by the trolls except Booty Bay, held by the goblins. Gerbash trolls have an arm on the border here too. Stormwind has taken Karasan and is about to take a gross skok compound from the ogres. Legion is about to enter the area. Dark Horde has taken Dan Mother. He's under siege by <coughs> Amaran of Arator, General of the Kingdom of Stromgard. Alright. Not much else has happened. Fighting the trolls, they look weak now. Their garrisons. Yeah, they've been fighting in regal, in in ice troll ter territory, I believe. Uh, the trade collision failed to take this area from Lord and Rebels. They lost an army. Okay, let's end the turn. We haven't checked Kalim door, but probably nothing has happened. Timber Mohol is under siege. We have a general scenarius. Okay, unique general. Horde is laying siege to tell Dara Grow, held by the Burning Legion. And they are marching towards Bracken Wall, just like in Warcraft 3. Ian Proudmore is marching down here towards Razor Fen. Legion has failed to take Bloodhoff from the Tower and Rebels. Felt a 
last is declared war on that money again. Let's end the turn again. Council. <coughs> We've been rewarded with 3,000 florins. Okay. 
the disease cast more than dwarves and the dark horde. Lions and Nuns, Tigerbash Trolls and the Dark Horde. Okay. Send the turn. Diplomatic information. <coughs> the following factions are now at war with each other. The Night Elves and the Burning Legion and the Kingdom of Quellas and the Amani Trolls. Okay. We'll end the turn again. Stromgard and the Dark Horde are at war with each other. And uh, Kazmodan and the Amani Trolls have declared a truce. Let's end the turn. Now I saw something happen on the map. We'll check it. Kalimdor, the Ankarai faction has finally taken Southwind from the rebel Kiraji. And they are moving their armies up towards the border with the Frag Trolls. Total war between the Trolls and the Kiraji insects are about to commence. Frag Trolls have been forced to move back their armies from the border of Isildian. Because they are about to be invaded by the Kiraji. So they need to focus their armies there. I'd say the Kiraji probably have the upper hand. They are very numerous. The Frack Trolls have also taken Dune Maul from Ogres. Have a huge army there. But this area is not taken by anyone yet. Uldum held by Dark Iron Rebels. I believe there, there are dragon flights there. Might be wrong. Okay. Terramor, uh, so Jaina Pradmor is now outside of Gadgetsan. She's allied to Gadgetsan, so she must have been defeated by the rebels or something. We have rebel bandits here. Karaji rebels. Of course, all the rebels are on the same side. It's just that the rebels are different in different regions. If they end up in the same battle, they are allied. Okay, the Legion has taken Magram Camp from Rebel Kentaurs. Horde has taken Bloodhoof from uh, Bloodhoof Rebel uh, Kentaurs. Eh, uh, I mean Taurans. So Bloodhoof has fallen. Horde. Ice trolls are finally marching towards uh, Waldrun, held by the Rekul. So the Drakari trolls and the Rekul are probably going to fight now. <coughs> we'll see how that will go. Okay, and then the Scourge uh, still not taken hold of. They are besieging Ankaya Kael. 
and K hat probably. Yeah, and K hat. Might take it from Asil Nerub. King of Asil Nerub is more there or missing to the Virum Rest. Strong God is taking Gilneas finally. Well, the Prince Art is a floater and is besieging Alterac. And the High Elves of Quel's last they are back at besieging Salaman, capital of the Amani Trolls. We have Risa Windrunner nearby. Troll seem to have won some battles against the Casmodan dwarves outside of Air Peak. They have a very weak garrison inside the dwarves. Okay, let's uh, end the town. Let's hope the goblins won't land an arm in, Marloc in the Marlock camp. Didn't think that was um, possible. It's never happened in any campaign. But maybe if the player is holding that area, they might do it. Yeah, I don't know. They have a fleet very nearby. As we can see, they disappeared. Good. Okay, faction destroyed. Terramore is destroyed. They used to have. Um, leader here somewhere. She must have been killed in a battle. I believe they conquered the last territory of Terramore. The Horde took it. But uh, the leader was still alive. Maybe she lost automatically when they took the last area. I don't know. So Terramore is dead. Killed by the Horde. The Horde has taken Blackthorn Ridge too from Quilbor Rebels. Panuin Legion is marching towards Sun Rock, held by the Horde. Garay is besieging Valor's Rest, and they have crushed the Faraki armies outside. There are still some armies around. And Anto Sul, the scared family member. A Freck Champions bodyguard. Yeah, the Freck Trolls are at a disadvantage in that war. Trend. Not much has happened. King of Asil Nerub has taken real rest from the dragon flights. Okay, so that's some changes there. And um, Rikil have beaten back the ice trolls from Vuldruin. Trade collision is back at besieging Scully, please hold out. Now they have less than an army standing. So their army wasn't very good in outer resolve. Outer resolves. Okay, and the Scourge is still marching around against the rebels or minor factions. So the man is surrounded by High Elven armies. Alteric has fallen to the Kingdom of Lordaeron. Alright, let's end the turn.
turn 35 now. I don't know how, how long we will play. We will play for a bit longer. Uh, okay, diplomatic information. The following factions are now at war with each other. Your bunch of trolls in the Kingdom of Stormwind. The Night Elves and the Burning Legion. Following factions have broken their alliances, the Alliance of Lordaeron and the Kingdom of Stromgard, the Casmodan faction and the Stormwind faction. The following factions have declared a truce, the Frack Trolls and the Trade Coalition. Because the Frack Trolls are now at war with a much stronger enemy, the Ankarai faction, so they wanted a truce with the Goblins and Lordaeron. They broke their alliances with Storm Stromgard, Casmodan and Stormwind. Probably because they are fighting someone else. Not sure who they are fighting. Let's check their diplomacy. Yeah, they are fighting the, the elves, and those guys, those nations, uh, took the side of the elves. Seems Verisa Windrunner is besieging Salaman herself. Alright, so the Quelthalas is at war with the Kingdom of Lordaeron. Maybe their fleets have declared war on each other. Maybe the fleet of Quelthalas or something has uh, attacked one of the ports of Lordaeron. Alright, let's... Uh, and the turn. <coughs> uh, so the trade collision are not war with the Gurbash trolls. They broke the alliance with the Dark Horde. The dark horde took the side of the Yerubashi trolls. There's a spelling error with the name of Lord, and I will probably change that. Either fix the spelling error. Because Trag changed the name of certain factions, he changed the Naga into Illidari and uh, he changed the Lordaeron faction into Alliance of Lordaeron. I might change them back because you're not really playing as the entire alliance. I mean the elves and the dwarves is either they are their own factions, so it doesn't make sense for them to be named Alliance of Lordaeron, I think. But if they are gonna be named that then then Alliance needs to have two L's, I believe. Since it's wrongly spelled. Okay, uh, end of turn report. Same as before. Let's end the turn again. Seems the Ankara Factor has taken Valor's rest from, from the Fracket Rolls now. Following factions are now at war with each other. Kingdom of Stromgard and Alliance of Lordaeron. Okay. The following factions have broken their alliances. The Kingdom of Stromgard and the Casmodan Dwarves. The following factions have declared that they are allies. The Casmodan Dwarves and Alliance of Lordaeron. The, fol the following factions have declared, declared a truce. The Gerbashi Trolls and the Stormwind faction. And the Alliance of Lordaeron and the Kingdom of Kalas. Okay. Stromgard is at war with Lordaeron. Seems Lordaeron is an army outside of Thor Thoradin's walls. Thoradin's wall. Stromgard is an army outside of Menethil. Come 
chans till här så får han. Är det med? Kevin Rad, the dire, <coughs> still alive. Same with Uta, the Lightbringer here. Right. I believe the fleets of Kveltalas and Lordran probably attacked each other. The Vrikel and the Ice Trolls probably fighting each other too. Oh, the Ice Trolls are attacking Virmarest held by the Kingdom of Asil and Arub now too. Everyone seems to be attacking everyone there. <coughs> and in Kalimdor. Giant Horde army. Marching towards Teldara Grove. Horde has taken Brecken Walls from the Ogres. Where they can get their own Ogres. Taken these two areas. Razor Fan is the new one they've taken. So all of Durta is under their control now. Taken. Thunder Bluff. The Tower and Capital. From the Burning Legion too. Oh, the trade coalition has gone down and taken shimmering flats from Rebel Karachi. So that's good. They have finally taken something. The Frack Trolls have taken Lost Trigger Co. from bandits and pirates. Oh, they are human pirates. Okay. And Karai has taken this area, of course. We saw that in the map earlier. They're about to attack Ungoro next. Alright, end turn. Following factions have declared a truce, King of Stromgard and the Alliance of Lordaeron, Night Elves and Karai, okay. Just end the turn again. I want some changes to happen on the map, so we'll just click end turn a bunch of times. Until the map has changed a bit. Otherwise it will take too long, <laughs> if we will check every turn we need to wait a bit before we check the map again.
take a while. It would be good if all the rebel areas would be conquered. Check this info. Falling faction are now at war with each other. Ankarai faction and the Faraki trolls. The Drakari trolls and the Vrikul. Scourge and the Vrikul and the Drakari have a truce. Same with the Drakari and the King of Asli. We are on turn 50, we check the map now. Alright, gift. Okay. Uh, end of turn report. The Burning Legion is the strongest military now. They have the strongest military. Diplomatic information. The following factions have declared a truce. The Fracky Trolls and the Ankarai faction. Fracky Trolls and the Horde. Check the map. We'll start with Eastern Kingdoms. The trade collision has gone and taken Sulmanwe from the Grabash Trolls. They've also taken Aboras from the Grabash Trolls. They've taken two areas from the Trolls. While Stormwind still has Misia. Okay, so the Trolls are not that strong. The trolls have taken Melgosh Ogre Mound from the Ogre Rebels. Legion has put in many armies into this area. Okay. Stormwind has taken Alt Alter's Mill from the Dark Horde. The Darker and Dwarfs has taken Dust Belch Grotto from the Rebel Augurs. Dark Horde has taken that mother from the Kingdom of Strongguard again. The Lordran army is besieging Strongguard. So humans versus humans now. I believe Lordran is a stronger faction in this campaign. Lordran has conquered Gilnes from Strongguard. They've taken Hartgland from the Kingdom of Quelt the last two. From the elves, the high elves. Okay. Well the elves still have failed to take Sulaman, capital of the trolls. The money trolls. Okay. Elves have been moved back to their homeland. Have no areas outside. The homeland. Okay, and the Rekil taken or the seal from the rebel dire furbolts. The Dracari ice trolls are laying siege to Tormodan, held by Iron Dwarf rebels. Iron Dwarf rebels. With the trade collision goblins. They've taken Scarlet Fleet's hold out, and they have a huge army there. They have emptied Venture Bay pretty much. They have half an, hour, uh, uh, half an army outside the 
not the Nahor. <laughs> I said wrong. Okay, the scur scur <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the scourge they are besieging. Virum rest held by the king of Asil Narub. They are also besieging Uldar held by rebels. And in Kalimdor. Not much has happened. Timber Mahal is held by the Night Elves now. The, El the Night Elves have landed in on this ire and taken Bristol in village from Furbolg uh, rebels. Order fighting the burning legion. They are now in legion territory. In the area of Thunder Axe. We have huge armies. Okay. Rai faction is taking Gilneas from rebel augurs and they've taken Elder Talas from various rebel units. And they've taken Mujache from rebel Tauron I believe. Here we have uh, Grimtotum Taurons. Uh, so the horde is marching down towards Dark Cloud Pinnacle, held by Dark Totem Tyrants as well. So the Horde will soon face off against the Kiraj there and the Legion. Okay, let's end the turn. Or the clad storm and west dark horde. Right. Yeah, I believe the goblin starting armies are really bad quality, but uh, in the late game they get way better troops. That could explain why they are advancing here against the trolls. Didn't do much in the beginning. They didn't have very good starting armies. Alright, so we'll check the map now and then we will end this part. I might do more later, I don't know, or this will be it. Um, so this was just a try, I wanted to do a AI only campaign and just comment uh, the, the happenings on the map in Warcraft Total War in the Reign of Chaos campaign. So we'll see if we'll continue this later. I'm not too happy with my speaking skills. You know, I'm, I'm not an English speaker, so... That's why in some videos I do a very good job when I speak and, and in other videos I do a poor job. And it's been a while since the last time I spoke and yeah, I, I don't uh, think this was the best uh, the best video. I, I don't think I was uh, at the top of my game. But anyway, might be a bit tired too. It's in the middle of the night and I've been awo uh, awoke uh, or awake for a long time. Okay, but anyway, uh, usually when I'm, if it's uh, in the middle of the day or something, I'm much better at speaking because I'm 
less tired in my brain. I, I believe I am a bit tired and that's why I am a bit slow too when speaking English. Okay, anyway, I will check the map. So the goblins have very bad starting armies, but they have good troops in the late game. So that could explain why they are expanding. Trolls aren't doing much. The Legion are just gathering their forces here. They haven't really went into Deadwind Pass yet. And the, the Stormwind faction are on, in the border. The Dark Horde. The war between the dwarves ha haven't really started. They've had a truce for, for a long time now. Okay. Seems Lord and failed to take Stormguard, but they are still still laying siege to Toradin's fall. Yeah, we, re we re really need uh, new strat models for the humans, for the agents at least. And some of the family members and such. The man is still not uh, taken. The vehicle are still holding their areas. Seems to be a stalemate with the ice trolls, but the ice trolls have taken Order Seal from the vehicle now. And they've taken Tormodon from the uh, Iron Dwarfs rebels. Iron Dwarf rebels. And uh, Selena Rub is still holding Wyrm Rest. They have defeated the Scourge armies in the area. No one has taken the areas to the east in Northrend. The Scourge is uh, still not taken, although they are besieging it. They are also besieging Tunka Yo, held, Tunka Lo, held by Tunka rebels, but only two units they will probably take it. Okay, in Kalimdor, Night Elves have finally taken Starbreeze Village from the Furbolg Rebels. But they failed to take Arkran from the Murloc Rebels. It's the Horde are fighting the Burning Legion here. And the Night Elves are also part of this battle. Everyone against everyone, I believe. Horde has landed an army outside of Volin, a troll village held by, I believe, uh, undead troops led by a sea giant. That's why the general is a naga. We have uh, the horde moving down to the dark pinnacle, dark cloud pinnacle still. They seem to be fighting the burning legion, but they are losing there been forced back into Turin lands. Goblins on the borderlands here. Shimmering Flats and Freewind. Frack trolls are about to march upon Uldum. We have Ankirai. Still haven't gone into the Ungoro jungle. They have their armies in Isildin and in Muyatje and in Eldritalas. They are marching towards Dark Cloud Pinnacle, so they will soon face off against the Horde. And they are not far away from the Legion either. Okay, so this is the current situation. Let's click and turn once more if we want to see what happens. and the trade collision uh, have ceased still it is they have a truce okay. 
uh, Kray smashing into the Angora jungle. Horde is defeated and Kray outside of Dark Cloud Pinnacle. They turn their attention towards Dan Kray, faction of the Kraji. Okay, and the Legion is defeating the Horde in their own homeland. Scourge is back in the Wyrmrest in the Wyrmrest region fighting Asiel Nerub there. But Asiel Nerub is pretty strong. Most of their troops are cavalry. Um, long range cavalry. And then the ice trolls are now assaulting the vehicle. Alright. Eastern Kingdoms. In the Eastern Kingdoms, not much has happened. Kingdom of Kaltalas is laying siege to Sulaman again. Stromgard's capital is under siege by Lord Ron. Wars haven't really fought each other yet. And Legion still hasn't moved into Deadwin Pass. Goblins are still holding their areas. They have an army on the border with the Gurbashi trolls. Took a large town from the trolls and a town uh, here too. They've turned into their own town. It was Samut and Bailey, I believe. I believe we will end here yeah, and thank you for watching I'm a bit too slow right now to speak a bit too tired alright see you another time